Now, federal officials tonight are here on the scene, including the FBI and the National Transportation Safety Board. They're here to investigate. CBS's Chris Van Cleve reports on the timeline of the incident and a similar accident that took place more than four decades ago. By daybreak, the force of the collision was clear. Pieces of the mangled Francis Scott Key Bridge and crushed cargo containers littered the deck of the Dolly. But the first sign of trouble, here, when the lights flickered and went out on board. The giant ship had lost its engine, its electronics, and much of its ability to steer, leaving it on a collision course with the bridge and little time to avert disaster. A mayday call went out as the nightmare scenario unfolded. Michael Kucharski is a former NTSB senior Marine investigator. Losing power as you're approaching a bridge uh, would be just about the worst case scenario. Loaded down with heavy containers, the captain tried to quickly slow down the more than 900 foot long cargo ship by dropping its port anchor. Dark smoke could be seen billowing from its stacks, likely the backup generator coming online. But the ship never regained engine power, and it struck one of the two main structural support columns of the bridge. Ben Schaefer is a structural engineer. Once the bridge was struck by a container ship of that size, there's not a bridge that we build you know, that's any level of economy and efficiency that, that that's going to survive that. It's happened before. In 1980, during a blinding thunderstorm, a cargo ship slammed into a support column of Tampa's Sunshine Skyway Bridge. A 1,200-foot span collapsed. 35 people were killed. Since then, cargo ships have more than quadrupled in size. In the world of infrastructure system, it's a failure, right? I mean, the, the bridge is gone, the port is closed, people have died. And Chris Van Cleve is with us now. Okay, so this investigation is just getting underway. What's the NTSB looking for? Well, Nora, they're going to have to contend with a lot of debris. This was like ramming a nimitz size aircraft carrier into this bridge. So there's debris everywhere, but they want to get on board. They want to find the data and voice recorder that should be on board. They're also going to look at the maintenance history of this ship, including reports that the propulsion system may have failed in inspection over the summer. They also want to look at the bridge's maintenance history and its design. Yeah, how does the power go out? Chris Van Cleve, thank you so much.